Behind me, you can see an Aerostar. That's a Piper Aerostar. And this is the kind of aircraft, the exact type of aircraft, that crashed in that unfortunate crash in the United States where the aircraft was misfueled with Jet A instead of Avgas. Naturally, this is a twin engine, piston type aircraft. We are now showing a Robinson R66 helicopter, which is a turbine helicopter and uses jet fuel and I'm filming the nozzle where the nozzle goes in and one can see that not only is it labeled jet fuel only but the no no nozzle is very large to be able to take the jet fuel pipe. This helicopter is a Robinson R44 which is a piston powered helicopter that uses AF gas and as you can see the fill of tank where the tank is filled is very clearly labeled AF gas and at the same time the hole that the nod that the refueling receptacle fits into is small and round. So we're standing in front of a Jet A refueling truck and as you can see the decals on the truck say Jet A1. Now as we zoom into the refueling nozzle you'll see that the fueling nozzle has a rectangular shape and it is too large, it's supposed to be too large to fit into an Afgas hole for on an Afgas aeroplane and yet the Piper, the refueling person who did the Piper uh, Aerostar managed somehow to put Jet A into the tank and of course we know the result of that tragic accident in the United States. We're now standing in front of the Avgas refueling truck and as you can see the decals on the truck say Avgas 100 LL in red. Also the refueling hose has a red end to it and if you look at it very carefully you'll see that it's circular, it's round and the whole idea is that this is what fits into the tank of an Avgas or a piston type airplane and it should never be confused with Jet A fuel which is a completely different category of fuel. Okay this is the fuel filler nozzle and as you could see it should be impossible to get a Jet A1 pipe into this nozzle but if you look carefully at the insert here this is a little insert and if that insert is not there, it's not present, then it is possible to fill this aircraft with Jet A. Okay, as you see now, is a uh, Afghan and uh, JJ1 so you choose Afghan and then you have to sign on the right hand side on the Afghan so we confirm this one is Afghan and then you can see the truck is Afghan so you sign Afghan So I'm now putting the dipstick into the left tank of the aircraft and I'm checking how much fuel is in there and there's 25 gallons in the left aircraft tank and we need another 10 gallons. So as you can see, it is the aircraft takes Avgas 100 RL, and it is a red handle which does indicate Avgas from the fuel truck. And I need 40 liters of fuel. Please.
correct amount of fuel is in the aircraft tank. I have now closed the cap and it is firmly in place.